Hello. Well, welcome. Um, um, this is this here's a video on something I just made. It's um, well, it's if you've seen one of my other videos, little concepting redstone or something like that, um, you you would have seen the original idea behind this in the way that you could have a rotating. Well, just watch that video if you haven't watched this one. Anyway, so I perfected what I talked about in that video, and so basically, what this is is oh, I don't know, 16, 32, 64, 64, 64, 72 bytes of RAM. It's and it can stretch out infinitely, so you can have up to I don't know, um. Lots. Um, but yeah, you can have you can have as much room as you like this method. But anyway, what it, how it works is as you can see how it, everything's kind of spinning around and um, it works on a one tick basis. So it, I'll just clear the unit. So at the moment, I just uh, I've just been testing it because the timing is horrendous. Um, anyway. Okay, so um, what you have to do is you have to let this last bit to fly in. Alright, there we go. Right, so this, this here is our main clock. This here controls the whole thing, so everything is run off this. So if this gets out of sync, everything just crashes and burns, but don't worry about that. that you could encase it in, in obsidian. If you really wanted to. But anyway, so how it works is um, we initiate this one, and basically this is input from whatever you know. This is your inputs. Um, so let's make it just scroll. Um, let's make the output just go bam, 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 just because we can. Right. So uh, we we'll wait to it. We'll hit that one. Hit this one, that one, this one, back to here, yeah. We'll be okay with that. So now, if we look, look over here, this, these lights along here are up. All right, here we go. I think it started. Boom. And go. And Go. See, and it should jump back one. And then back another one. And back to the start. I don't know if it will. No, because see, we've missed out a whole bunch. But anyway, um, you can also do it with larger bytes. There we go. One, 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 zero. I have no idea if I just didn't put over it, wrote some ink. It's just jammed two of them in. I think it worked. Should have done that. Looks like something there. Right. Come on, where is it? Should be coming around soon. Bam, there we go. Ha! This one's in. And we've got the second one. Bam. So, so basically, if you wanted temporary storage of mass quantity, so say you were, I don't know, testing out a new program idea, writing something, wanting it to display numbers in a certain order, anything really, this here, in theory, will work, as long as you get the timing perfect, which took me a very long time. Because timing is everything, especially when you're making stuff like this. But yeah, so um, the output holds the current selection for a limited time, but that's probably enough time for you, whatever you have, to do something with it, which is alright. So, um, 
yeah, if you want the schematic for it, it probably can be refined a lot. I haven't put any effort into that yet because I don't have any need to, but um, yeah, so this is just kind of throwing the idea of this myth, uh, a working version of this because my previous version was just a kind of theory in explaining the general concept and this is actually putting it to, into action and making it work. So um, yeah, if anyone wants the, the diagram or the schematic, yeah, just please put a comment in the sec comment section below which is like dumb hair. Yeah, comments right here. Alright, yeah, goodbye.